Asthma is characterized as a chronic inflammatory disease of the airways. The reduction in airway diameter is attributed to several factors, including bronchial constriction, bronchial edema, mucus plugging, increased goblet cell production, bronchial muscle hypertrophy, and airway remodeling. These pathological processes culminate in thickened, inflamed airways obstructed by mucus. In severe presentations, bronchial casts of inspissated mucus may be observed, underscoring the severity of the obstructive process. A comprehensive assessment of potential precipitants is crucial in the emergency department. Common etiologies include upper respiratory infections, allergies, exposure to respiratory irritants such as smoke, chemicals, cold air, exercise, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and certain medications, such as beta blockers. Less frequent triggers, including menstruation and psychological factors, should also be considered. Furthermore, clinicians should be cognizant of Samter's triad, characterized by aspirin or NSAID sensitivity, nasal polyps, and asthma. A detailed patient history is, therefore, of paramount importance in identifying potential triggers. The clinical presentation of asthma can vary significantly. While wheezing is a classic symptom, patients may also exhibit decreased expiratory flow, air trapping, and in severe cases, barotrauma leading to pneumothorax or pneumomediastinum. Diminished venous return may result in hypotension and pulses paradoxus, and jugular venous distension may be evident. A comprehensive clinical evaluation is, therefore, essential to accurately assess the severity of the exacerbation. Diagnostic evaluation in the emergency department typically involves a combination of clinical assessment and judicious use of diagnostic tools. Bedside spirometry, utilizing peak expiratory flow rate and forced expiratory volume in one second, can aid in identifying large airway obstruction, although it may not consistently predict patient outcomes. Pulse oximetry is essential for assessing oxygen saturation, however, Clinicians should be aware that oxygen saturation may paradoxically decrease in improving patients due to transient ventilation perfusion mismatch. Arterial blood gas analysis is generally not indicated and should not be the primary determinant of therapeutic intervention. Chest radiography is not routinely warranted but is valuable in cases where complications such as pneumothorax or pneumonia are suspected, in patients exhibiting inadequate improvement, or when hospital admission is anticipated. For the purposes of rapid clinical assessment, asthma exacerbations can be categorized into phases, normal, mild, moderate, and severe. Key clinical indicators for this categorization include respiratory rate, breath sounds, and the use of accessory muscles. Furthermore, arterial blood gas parameters, including pH, PaO2, and pCO2, correlate with the severity of the exacerbation. Effective management of asthma in the emergency department necessitates a systematic approach, integrating meticulous patient assessment, judicious utilization of diagnostic tools, and the timely implementation of appropriate therapeutic interventions. A thorough comprehension of the underlying pathophysiology, recognition of potential precipitants, and vigilance in identifying diverse clinical manifestations are essential to providing optimal patient care and improving clinical outcomes.